constantly, constantly researching. And this is where my PTSD of being a millennial who has now lived through several economic collapses has shown me that things can change like that. So I'm able to bridge the gap from an educational standpoint to everyday people online and to help them acquire the knowledge and the confidence that they need to go into owning real estate. Especially when we're talking about people of color and the systematic barriers to building wealth. It's important to understand the history behind it and to be able to connect the dots for people so that they don't feel embarrassed, so that they don't feel intimidated. Because the reality is everybody deserves to have a home. And another reason why a lot of people reach out to me that are, you know, my generation or younger is that I've gone through that shared experience with them of, you know, getting to this point, whether it's in your 20s, your late 20s or your 30s, and you're waiting for that time when you're going to be able to own that property with that white picket fence and it just doesn't happen. And you may talk to your parents about it and they're like, oh, back in my day, I had an interest rate of 20%. And it's like, yeah, dad, but you buy your house for like $5 in a box of raspberries. When I talk about this stuff online, it really resonates with people. And when they hire me as their agent, it's like, yes, I understand. I went through it. I lived in my parents' basement for six years, but it can be done, but you definitely have to be in your hustle era.